I'm at a um, protest out here. We in here. Only gonna be with y'all for a little bit, okay? <laughs> and this is true, y'all. People need to repent. I'm right here. I am over here. Yes, you did. That's me. I'm a conservative activist. How you doing? Okay. You're not are you? All right, all right. My son showed me. I said, hold on. I'm on my way to work in another hour. So let me hang out here, man. Do some coverage out here. Yeah. Thank y'all for standing up. All right. What's going on, Shantastic? How you doing? We're live here on YouTube, everybody. So are they the protest? Are they on the other side? Rainbow vests are the pro abort. Oh, they're the poor boys. Okay, I'll go there and trigger them then. Okay. They escorted the babies to their back. Yeah. Okay, let me know. I got to ask them a question then. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So, so are, are you guys protesters? No. No. I don't want to do that. Are you for abortion? Oh, okay. So you work for Planned Parenthood? No. Oh, okay. Not explaining who you who you guys are. I just want to know who you are. We're clinic escorts. Okay. What, what, what is clinic escorts? We escort patients here from the medical Okay. All right. I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm fine. All right. All right. I'm, I'm just over here filming, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm against abortion. You know, I'm against abortion, but I'm not going to go up there and be like, oh, you're going to hell if you do this. Uh, but you do have a camera when people are losing their medical equipment, so that's... Huh? You do have a camera out when there's patients coming out of medical equipment. Okay, so I, won't, kind of, I won't film them then. Yeah, that's kind of weird. All right. I appreciate it. All right. You have a good one. All right. <laughs> it's too early to be arguing with him right now. You, you got a camera out. You got the patients over there. Like, okay, all right. <laughs> Yo, y'all saw me in Kenosha. He did. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was, I did. Oh, yeah, I was out there. Oh, you look familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was wearing a blue coat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was out there on, you know, for hours and stuff. Yeah. Yelling, cow did nothing wrong. That was me. I got a lot of heat at that. When they saw me on the news, man, customers at my job didn't. Oh, they gave me ugly looks and. You know. Did you see a guy named the conservative black preacher? Yeah, yeah. He he actually called me. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a show together. Okay. Yeah, we, we're gonna do a show together. You know. I know him from years ago. I've oh, okay. Never met him, but I found out later he was in Kenosha. Yeah. A day or two after I was. All right. There. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Will Johnson, I don't know if you're Will, Will Johnson from United America First, he was out there. He used to work for Alex Jones, he was out there. Woo, oh, it's cold out here. All right, next time I'm coming with some gloves and stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but there they go, over there. So they are for abortion. Yeah, they right. escort the mothers that to go kill them. Oh my God, see, this is what this world is coming to, man. Look at this, everybody. This is what it's coming to, y'all. We are in Sodom and Gomorrah right here. Right here. We are definitely living in these last days, man. <laughs> like, wow. You know, someone, 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 someone said something to me the other, uh, like last week. What if the girl gets raped, right? And I said, you know what? You can't justify that. I still won't justify that. Because I know a lady named Minister Rita. Her parents was a victim of it, and she's a preacher. You know, she's here for a purpose. Everybody got a purpose and everybody got a destiny. And that, you know, and that baby had a destiny, a purpose. According to the law of the creator, the rapist deserves death, not the baby. Right. The baby can't help out the creator. It's, it's sad. It's sad. I just, yeah, it was in there. Oh, it was? In the track that we gave you, there's actually how we can actually end it end abortion completely. Yeah. And not just regulate the murder like the pro-life movement. Mm, mm, mm. 
Where is my son? Looking for my son. Oh, yeah, that's a yeah, y'all, we are on the east side of Milwaukee, everybody. Straight on the east side. Woo! We got Daniel's for this wicked nation. Well, first of all, we made my confession saying, oh, Yahweh, the great awesome hell. Keeping the covenant and loving kindness to those who love them. What's your YouTube channel? Hey, Maurice Delk. Okay. Okay. Look me up. You'll see it. I'll, I'll be on there almost every night, live streaming. Okay. Even by the terms of this commandment, the thing is right And we have not listened to the servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our rulers, and our fathers. And to all the people of the land, only our way of righteousness belongs to you, but to us the shame of our faces, as it is this day to the men of Milwaukee, or actually Judah, it says here, and to those living in Jerusalem, and to all Israel. You could, you could put that as the United States also. Adam, you need to repent. There's always an option for that. He's triggered. He's triggered. Their unfaithfulness, unfaithfulness, which they have done against you, the unfaithfulness that leads to all the sin. Our Adonai, our shame of faith belongs to us, to our kings. against our judges who judge us by bringing on us a great evil for under the whole heavens it has not been done as it has been done to Jerusalem. Jerusalem was completely destroyed and taken into captivity because of their sins against God. As it has written in the Torah of Moses, all this evil has come on yeah, we did not make our prayer to the Lord and the Lord, but we might pray for our progressives and understand their truth. No, it is. Yahweh has watched over the evil and has brought it on us. For Yahweh, our evil, he is righteous in all his work, which he does. For we did not obey his voice. Oh Yahweh, I pray to you according to all your righteousness. Let your oh, anger right. and your fear be back. For selfish they, they, they're the number one killer of, 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 the, of black babies. Real men are supposed to protect children. Margaret Sager. Real women are supposed to raise children and be mothers rather than murderers. Look up Margaret Sager. Hey, you can't just stay quiet. America has become a stay quiet. Trigger. So perverse, so wicked, that we allow mothers the so-called freedom to murder their baby. The freedom to murder your baby. Think about that. Honey is trying to enforce what's worse. Say that it's a human right to murder another human being. Your people have become a reproach to all those around us. 
And now hear all our Elohims, the prayer of your servant and his holy desire to cause your face to shine on your sanctuary that is desolate for the sake of Yahweh. Oh my Lord, who is on your ears and hear, open your eyes and see our rules and see which is come by your name. And we do not make our prayers fall before you on the front of our righteousness. But because of your great mercy. It's not our righteousness that our prayers are going to reach him. It's because he's merciful and just. That's how our prayers are going to reach him. Through Yeshua. His righteousness is what is going to make us free. Amen. O Yahweh, forgive, O Yahweh, listen. Do not delay for your own sake. O my healing. Paul says that the name of Yahweh is blasphemy through the nation because of the people that say they have his law. It's blasphemy. They say, we know the law of Yahweh and we know the text still, but it's blasphemy. You people in the rainbow vest are the direct cause of people saying that the law of Yahweh is of no effect. When there's no law, when you say that you can change it, or it has changed, then the rest of society is going to go along with that. And it's clearly seen right here. When you say that the Sabbath has changed, people can say, whoa, a baby's not a baby, you can still murder her. When people say that you shall not commit adultery, and you can get remarried and everything like this garbage that the American church teaches and get divorced, then you get the people across the street with a rainbow vest and much more society that you call it that say it's okay to be gay. When it's not, y'all just heard the song, it's not okay to be gay. Yeah. This is 1811. Oh, it is an abomination. Really, I know you were alive during the time where the homosexuals were probably stoned in the streets. About 400 years ago. Leviticus 8 is mine too. You just go into the whole chapter 18 of Leviticus, and it goes over the perversity, which Yahweh says are an abomination. The perversity, laying with animals. Not only should the person be killed and stoned, but the animal as well. They unclean. Sickle would lay with the animal anyway. It's disgusting, it's just handy, it's dirty. But that's what these people were doing in Israel. That's why he destroyed them. And I know that's what's happening in America because this land is so perverse, it's like they read the Bible and say, oh yeah, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna read the Bible and we know what's evil, yet we do it. Or, I mean, I would say, you're under the way of the evil. You're either a slave to righteousness, that's right. Or you're a slave to sin. To sin. Many people that walk around their, their lives are slave to sin. You will be a slave to something. People say slavery is dead. That's not true. Maybe the American slavery is dead. But not the slavery to sin. To where I know we've heard Joseph talk about it all the time. We're in worse slavery now than the black people.